Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I have a, it's like a high-end haul for you basically. Um, and I'm really bummed right now because I just realized that one of the things that I uh, was going to show you, I don't know where it's at. I guess it's at my house, but it's not here with me at the moment, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, so if you'd like to see what I got in this video, then please keep watching. So the first thing I ended up getting was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette. It just looks like this on the outside and on the back, you know, it has the description and the colors and everything like that. I got this at Nordstrom's um, when I was out of town Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Um, and I'm so excited that I got my hands on it. Obviously, I was seeing a lot of looks on Instagram. A lot of people were doing um, just like this. I think the main look I saw was purple. It's funny because I did purple today. <laughs> by the way, this look was created by using this palette. If you haven't seen this look already, then I'll link it down below for you. Um, but yeah, I saw purple everywhere all over Instagram one day. And I was like, what is going on? And I was like, I need to get my hands on this palette because I need that purple in my life. And I got it. I got it. And now I got it on my eyes. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is the packaging. Um, and the outside of the palette is just kind of like is this denim. Look, I already got a little bit dirty, shaking my head. But it's just like this denim material, <laughs> I guess you could say. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. All of the pretty colors. It does come with a brush, but I just threw it out. I threw the well, it's a, it's it's not in here because I can't be bothered with opening it and then it falls out every single time. So, got that. And continuing on with Anastasia Beverly Hills, I also got the Brow Wiz pencil and my shade is dark brown. Um, yeah, I've had this pencil before, I've tried it, love it, but I just need to get another refill of this so that is why I bought this pencil. <laughs> And I ordered, um, let me tell you a story about this, because this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. I specifically, well, I didn't go out of town for this reason, but I knew I was going out of town, and in my head I was like, cool, they don't sell, like, the full Anastasia Beverly Hills line where I live, so I could find it, obviously, when I'm out of town, because the place where I was going, or the place where I went, was, is a bigger city and has better malls than where I live at. Oh, I was so disappointed to know that the mall that I went to, the one mall that I would think had it, did not have the line. Although they did have the self-made palette, they did not have um, any of the highlighters that I was looking for. They didn't have any of the liquid lipsticks or any of the lip glosses. So I was extremely bummed. And when I was coming back, it was actually on Cyber Monday, and I was on Twitter, and I saw that they made a tweet, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Cosmetics made a tweet that they had, was it $3 lip glosses? I think it was $3, so I was like, hold up, wait a minute, let me go over to Anastasia Beverly Hills website, and when I got there, I think it was $9.99, so I don't know if it was $3 like earlier in the day, and then it went to $9.99 like later on in the day, or if it was always $9.99, and I just can't remember if the tweet said $9.99 or $3, I don't know. Either way, I ordered two of these. I actually ordered three. I ordered Peony, Orchid, and Sepia. Sepia? I don't know how you say it. Well, that one. And the Sepia, Sepia one got canceled and it's not available for back order. So they only sent me the Peony and the Orchid. And the Orchid shade is actually the shade that I cannot find at the moment. Um, so I'm sorry about that. It's actually... It's kind of like a um, violet purple shade because you guys know I love my shades. But this is a shade Peony. At least I do have this one to show you. It is just like a simple pale pink everyday color. I have this on my lips over top a lip liner. And it's extremely pigmented. I'll actually swatch it for you guys. It's the least I can do since I don't have the other shade with me. Oops. This is what it looks like swatched. Super pretty, super pigmented, and it smells like bubblegum. Can't really pass up lip gloss that smells like bubblegum. Okay, so sorry to be butting into your video like this, 
but I actually did end up finding the other Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss I was talking about in the shade Orchid. This is it right here. Um, it's just like more, a lot more purpley than the other shades. I will, or than the other shade, the Peony shade. I will admit though, I was kind of disappointed because I was trying to get shades off of her website that was different from each other, but these are actually quite similar. So I'm going to show you the swatches of them. Okay, so here they are swatched side by side. In this lighting, for some reason, it's actually making them seem a lot more different in shades than they are, but they're actually really similar. So this is the Peony shade, and then this is the Orchid shade. I really love both of these shades. Um, yeah, they're both, I guess they're like a little different, but in real life, they're actually a lot similar. Um, I'll show you them like side by side in the tube. So as you can see, it's like actually a lot similar, but hmm. I really was disappointed that I couldn't get this sepia, sepia, I really need to figure out how to say that word, <laughs> but I was really disappointed that I couldn't get that shade. So anyways, moving on, and I actually have two extra things that I wanted to show you. Um, the first thing that I got, or the first extra thing that I got, <laughs> is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. This is the packaging. Um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. I have it on my face right now and I will say I do enjoy it. I love it already. The only thing is I think my shade is a little bit too, just a hint too dark for me. And I did get um, like color matched or color swatched or whatever you want to call it. I did get matched my color by um, a person at Sephora. And I think for me to get my perfect shade in this type of foundation, I would have to end up buying two of them and uh, mixing because I tried a shade darker than the one I got. By the way, the shade that I ended up getting was 178 equals Y535. So, um, but yeah, I mean, once you added, con once I added concealer and everything, it was okay. But th so this is what the container looks like. It's just a normal stick foundation and. You open it and there's a cap. I like this. I love that they have this like little plastic top on the on it. That way it like prevents me from getting it dirty. But just pop that off and then that's the shade that I end up getting. Um, and yeah, so far so good. And I'll let you know if I continue to like it or not. Why? I need to stop sticking my tongue out. <laughs> and the next thing I ended up getting was the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Double Dare. Um, this is the packaging, what it looks like. Obviously, I've been hearing a lot of great things about these liquid lipsticks. The main shade I've been hearing about is Lolita, I believe. Um, but this is just, I mean, to me, it's just as pretty. I have this on my lips right now. And yeah, this is what it looks like the little tube and I'll swatch it for you alright so this is the double dare shade right here I will say I do have a LA girl um, matte flat finish pigment gloss in the shade uh, floor it looks actually really similar to this shade in double dare um, so I don't know that could possibly be a dupe for this because the um, LA girl matte flat finish Pigment glosses are like $5, I believe, and this one was $20 or $21. But that's all that I wanted to share with you guys, so on with the following program. So also while I was in Nordstrom's, I, I don't even know, to be completely honest, why I bought this. I mean, I've always, I'm, I want a contour, obviously, but my issue is I cannot find a shade that is dark enough for me to contour with. That's probably why I bought this. Yeah, that's probably why I bought this. I wasn't expecting to buy this, but that is why I bought this. And this is the Laura Mercier um, Contour Compact, wait, Custom Contour Compact Palette. This is what the box looks like if it will focus. And I've tried this before. I've used it actually in a mini tutorial of mine on Instagram. And it's good, you know. I don't know why I just stuck out my tongue, <laughs> but it's good. This is what the uh, actual packaging when you open the, out of the box, what it looks like. And the neat thing about this is that whenever you run out of one of these colors, it has a highlight color, a contour color, and I honestly don't know what the other color is for. <laughs> um, but you can always replace them. You can tell that I use this. It's a little dingy. 
it's a little dingy so bear with me <laughs> but this is the palette uh, this is the contour shade it's the contour deep number two this is contour number one and this is highlight number one so this is actually way too light for me this will do nothing for me by the way that is air spun powder in the center told you it was a little dingy bear with me um and this is actually what i contour with i use this love this it's a cream you don't have to set it but i like to set it with my bobby brown bronzing powder in deep four and this is a highlight shade i've not tried it I haven't tried it on my own. The person who was applying this on me actually tried it. Um, I kind of like it. I haven't experimented with it that much yet, but I think it's going to be good in my book. So also from Laura Mercier, this is a second skin cheek color in the shade, in the shade Spice Cider. This is what the box looks like. I really like the font. I don't know why is that weird I really like the Laura Mercier font <laughs> um this I was completely like joked into he just he kept going you know how whenever you get like somebody almost dropped it that would have been bad <laughs> but you know how whenever you're like getting help at whatever makeup store that you're at and you know they apply what you ask them to apply at first and then they like apply like highlight and then blush and then lipstick and then brow like it just, they just go overboard and they're like well you should get this and you should get this i was definitely this was one of those products um i haven't used this yet on myself but he, i will say whenever he did apply it it was cute um i actually have not opened this and the paper just fell out it's kind of like a i have the i have the word on the tip of my tongue I can't I can't think of the word <laughs> but this is what it looks like it's really it's actually really pretty oh terracotta is it terracotta I don't know but this is what it looks like it's kind of like a matte uh, orangish type color <laughs> I guess you could say it looks really pretty though so I'll keep you up to date if I am obsessed with it or not the next product I got is a sample size of the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base in Smoothing. Yes, so as you guys know, I have a mattifying one, and this is just the smoothing one. I have tried this already um, in place of my professional. Um, I mean, it was good. I didn't really like notice anything terrible about it, so I'm going to keep trying it out, and we'll see how it is. I think what I'm the most excited to talk about is the Benefit Sunbeam Golden Bronze Complexion Highlighter. Holy cow, I love this. I, on my skin type, I really like golden um, highlighters. So what I have right now, I'm not sure if you can be able to tell. This lighting is just so, it's so sad, but we're getting there. Just you wait. <laughs> Anyways, um, and I saw this in Sephora. And I was like, you know, I want a highlighter because all I have, the only highlighter I have is the Benefit What's Up, a sample size. And then I have the NYX Gleam. Um, it's like a liquid highlighter in the shade Gleam. I don't really use that that much. I don't know. I still have to experiment on it. But this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds you of like a little nail polish type of situation going on. I am obsessed. If you have not... Um, seen already I did use this already in a mini tutorial and on Instagram so make sure you go and check that out because you can actually tell how glowing I was <laughs> in that video so yeah that's it um it was just a quick little haul I just wanted to share with you the few things that I got so if you guys like this video then please give it a thumbs up uh, make sure to follow me on Facebook Snapchat Instagram Twitter Pinterest all of that will be linked down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.